What is going on, everybody? Chris Daly from the Sports Court here. This is a very different um, video than you usually see on the YouTube channel. Obviously, usually doing interviews, but <coughs> been out for a while, guys, because I have the flu, and then I had some personal things going on and my high school soccer season. So I haven't done many interviews lately. I'm going to get back into those start posting a lot more interviews soon mls season just ended so gonna try to get a lot more mls interviews and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun but right now i'm gonna be doing my ideal u.s <coughs> and again i have the flu so you guys i have the flu so you guys are gonna have to give me a, a break and be a little lenient with the coughs here but here's my u.s men's national team um ideal 23 that we're shipping to the or 26 now excuse me i forgot the new rule um Chip into the World Cup. <coughs> I could just cut it, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it adds to the video. Uh, so let's just start off with the goalies. Zach Steffen, Matt Turner. For her, first off, Matt Turner's my starter. Zach Steffen's the backup. Sean Johnson, supposedly. So here's the thing. This is the leaked, leaked uh, U.S. MNT team, right? It's a leaked team. Wow. Sean Johnson. I'm going Gaga Selena because the only way, the only way to get experience is to be given the opportunity, and I think Gaga needs the opportunity. If you know what I mean, if you're putting up while I'm picking up while I'm putting down, okay. Um, all right, let's just advance now right into the defenders. Defense wins championships. If we're gonna bring home the Jules Rimet Trophy, we need a solid defense. So. We have two great starters, lock starters right there. Anthony Robinson, Sergio Dest. Um, Fulham is actually doing not quite bad this year in the Prem. Uh, never thought I'd be saying that. Uh, and then at the center back, to me, these guys are locks. Um, Cameron Carter Vickers and Walker Zimmerman, probably the two most informed uh, center backs right now. Zimmerman did great in the MLS, defender of the year, I believe he was. And then Cameron Carter Vickers, captain for Celtic. And speaking of captains, Tim Ream for Fulham. So we need two more outside backs, so to send onto the plane. And I'm going Reggie Canyon and Joe Scally, uh, personally. That's just what I'm doing. I'm just doing me. I'm just doing me. And here we could see that Reggie Cannon. And Joe Scally. Did Joe Scally? Okay, so they both made it. I didn't even like look too deep into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And center back wise, they had one, two, three, four. They had, like five outside, but wow, so interesting. Um so right now we have three center backs. One, two. I'm really bad at counting, guys. Jeez, I just gotta stick to interviewing. Four, so we have seven. Okay, we have seven. So we need two more. I'm gonna go center backs. Uh, if Chris Richards is healthy, Chris Richards is on the plane. If not, Aaron Long's on the plane, but for right now, I'm putting Chris Richards on it. And then, man, John Anthony Brooks. So it looks like Brooks is not gonna be on the plane here. I personally think um, Brooks has done a lot. There might be stuff behind the scene that I don't know about, and that's the thing that we don't know. And it's like, what's he like? You know, in the dressing room, the relationship between a player and a manager, it's vital for winning a World Cup. So, I don't know. And because it's me making the squad, I'm putting Brooks into the squad here. Um, otherwise, they'll mark McKenzie and then Chris Richards as well. You could easily go like that. But Chris Richards, we're assuming that he's going to be back, which he definitely is not going to be back. <laughs> uh Anyways, uh, let's go into the midfield now. So, starting midfield, bop, bop, bop. Uh, I think Gio Reyna, to me, best suited as the attacking mid for the U.S. men's national team. I, I really think that I, I just do. I think that's where he's best suited, you know, against Mexico. He looked like Prime Maradona, as people said. Um, Yunus Musa, slot him right in there, too. Uh, all I know right now, Musa could be start, starting over McKinney. Also, McKinney is hurt, from what I know. Uh, I know a lot, I guess. Um, all right. Now, at the wings, on the right and the left, Brendan Aronson and Christian Pulisic, they're going to be running circles around this English defense, the poor English defense. 
And then as for the uh, a backup winger, I think Timothy Wea is just a fantastic option right there. And then, lastly, we need we need some finishers. So Jordan P. Folk, Josh Sargent, Ricardo Pepe, um, Jesus Ferreira is unfortunately <coughs> left off because what he's done for the U.S. Men's National Team has not convinced me enough to say, hey, this guy deserves a spot on the U.S. men's national team roster. And on, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, also, so we're going to be looking at some people, Conrad De La Fuente, you know, unfortunately, no. Uh, but I think Johnny is a really a guy. Luca De La Torre right now, uh, otherwise he would be on the roster, but uh, he just hasn't been healthy right now. So... Let's see what this roster looks like. This Kelly and Acosta, Malik Tillman. Yeah, so <clears throat> pretty similar, honestly. Um, I'm just trying to find these people. I, w I should have prepared. It's because of the, the flu, I'm telling you. But yeah, Malik Tillman is definitely right. One of the most informed U.S. men's national team players this year. And then there's three spots left. And this could be, be between any position and anybody. And it's really up to me to decide. Um, in, in terms of like a goal scorer, and you want someone that can score goals. Morris has seven goals in 26 games this season in the MLS. Uh, and why is James... Oh, because he plays center back sometimes. Um, I guess he plays CDM too. Taylor Booth, he's done great for FC Utrecht down in wherever that is. Uh, is that a city? I don't even know. Paxton Aronson, can he team up with his brother? Um, guys, I think we're going Brian White, though. <laughs> uh, seriously, though, let's just take a look at who we have, or who, what I'm thinking right now. So what I'm thinking is J-Mo, Johnny, De La Torre, Kelly Acosta, Christian Roldan. Those are the guys I'm just kind of thinking of putting in, and we're going to go Kelly Acosta. He just, he's a set-piece specialist. I don't think he's going to start, but... Late in the game, if you need someone to come in for a free kick, I mean, Kelly and Acosta is your guy. So then there's two spots left within this team. A healthy Luca De La Torre. If Luca De La Torre is healthy, he's in the squad. So we're going to assume that he's healthy. If not, Johnny's going to be in the squad as that midfielder. But for right now, it's going to be Luca De La Torre, which leaves us with one spot. It's J-Mo, Jesus Ferreira, Gianluca Busio. Christian Roldan, <coughs> Paul Ariola. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Again, just look. I can't freaking do this with this cough, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm gonna go, JMO. I just always love J-Mo. I always think that he is a guy that gives everything for the program, everything for the U.S. men's national team. He's truly just uh, one of those guys with a 2014 grit. Because he's in the squad, though, people are going to be thinking, or he's in the pool, people are going to be thinking, well, he's going to lose this. No, he's not going to play, guy. He's not going to play significant minutes. Everybody's acting like if I were to put J-Mo in the squad, that J-Mo is going to be starting over Brendan Aronson or Christian Pulisic. Get a load of it. Get a load of it. Mom just text me. I don't know. Um, Can't read it. But yeah, that is my ideal <coughs> U.S. team. Let's take a look at it. Squad value, 306 mil. Okay, look at this. Look at this. The squad value was what? 286. How about them apples? Okay, Gaga Salina, Matthew Turner, Dex Stefan, Dest, Richards, Robinson, Scally, Brooks, Vickers, Cannon, Zimmerman, Ream. Might need another outside back now that I look at it. So a guy like DeAndre Yellen could easily slot in there for a guy like Brooks. Hate to say it. Um, then Pulisic, Reyna, Aronson, McKinney, Musa, Adams, Wea, Pifo, Kamor, Sargent, Pepe, Acosta, Tillman, De La Torre. That's a solid squad. I like all those logos, too. That's really a really cool game. Um, had a lot of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And to be honest, this is a team that could 
make some noise. Um, I actually really like the looks of this. I'm so happy to be a U.S. Men's National Team fan right now. Uh, yeah, because the guys, too, that we needed to be informed are be getting informed. We needed the U.S. fans. We, the U.S. fans, needed Josh Sargent, Ricardo Pepe to get informed. Uh, Jordan P. Folk to get informed. And what have they done? Exactly what we needed. Scoring goals. <sighs> And people are like, well, it's in the championship, Chris. Who cares? Well, okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's take a look. Football League rankings. 52 emails. Oh, my. Got to get to that. Are those drafts? Let's just take a look. Those are drafts, okay? We're taking a look at the rankings right now. The leagues. Um, Premier League, Bundesliga. It, okay, so. Or, huh. Portugal is actually fun. 11th best league in the world, the championship. You can't argue with that. <coughs> you can't argue with MLS at 15. That's nice to see. But yeah, everybody, I'm Chris Daly. And it, this is kind of skewed a tiny bit because it's the average strength of the team in the league. So like a, a league with like eight teams that has... All mid teams and one really good team, their average would be higher. If you know what I mean. So, MLS. Hmm. DC United really holding the MLS back. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, Chris Daly from Sports Court signing off as usual. Peace.